वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स आइसोलेशन ऑफ जेनेटिक मटेरियल डीएनए सो हाउ डू वी आइसोलेट डीएनए वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द स्टेप्स ऑफ आइसोलेशन लाइक फॉर रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज दिस प्रोसेस आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग कि रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी इफ वी नीड एन इंसर्ट और इफ वी नीड अ प्लाज्मिड फ्रॉम बैक्टीरिया और फ्रॉम प्लांट सेल जेनेटिक मटीरियल हाउ डू वी गो अबाउट इट what is the genetic material they are called, named as nucleic acids so what are the nucleic acids dna and rna so you can take a source sample like animal cells plant cells bacterial cells if you want bacterial cells you have to culture them to get specifically the bacteria you want plant cells and animal cells etc can be the source so i am just explaining you here step by step uh, so to extract dna isolate in it we have to isolate it in its pure form pure here refers to free from other macromolecules see if you have learned um, nucleic acid i mean biomolecules properly you will know that dna the chromatin material the genetic material in the cell contains uh, dna plus histone it is made up of dna plus histone so we don't want histone we want only the dna histone is a protein likewise cells also contain rna and all so basically three steps are there cell lysis that is disrupting the cell breaking the cell wall and all that is called cell lysis breaking the cell wall cell membrane nuclear membrane etc then second step we will go through is remove other molecules that is what i said as contaminants like rna protein lipids carbohydrates etc they have to be removed because we want dna in its pure form only then you can go further for the action of restriction enzyme in it and uh, use it in recombinant technology then third it should be pure pure dna in its pure form when you remove the other molecules you can purify it further so just for example if you see if this is a plant cell and i am going through the step of cell lysis you have to break down the cell wall you have to break down the cell membrane you have to break down the nuclear membrane this needs to be broken down that step is called cell disruption or cell lysis lysis or disruption means breaking it down why do we need to break it down to release dna and along with dna other macromolecules will also come like rna protein polysaccharides lipids etc will also definitely come so cell is burst open and things will come out okay now how the step of how to disrupt the cell so how to disrupt the cell mechanical shearing can be done like for example if you are using plant cell you need to um, do some mechanical shearing that means grind it in a mortar and pestle okay so in lysis buffer you have to load the content in lysis buffer or means buffer having uh, certain uh, chemicals which will break it so but enzymes are needed so lysis buffer contains all that so even if you are doing mechanical shearing you need enzymes to break it now suppose you are using plant cell plant cell wall contains cellulose so enzyme cellulase should be added to digest that is to break down the bonds of the large polysaccharide cellulose clear so cell wall will break if you are using bacterial cell you should uh, you know that bacterial cell wall contains peptidoglycan so the enzyme used is lysozyme lysozyme should be used while doing the process of breaking down the cell wall to break down the cell wall of bacteria fungal cells contain cell wall as chitin so chitinase should be used ase wherever mostly they are all enzymes chitinase enzyme should be used to break down the cell wall of fungal cells so the cell will break animal cell has no cell wall but lysis buffer has to be used will break the membranes in all these cases all those enzymes will break the membrane cell membrane plus nuclear membrane only then genetic material and other materials will come molecules will come out so uh, i hope in a uh, you understand this in a test tube we have see all the macromolecules i have just given different shapes uh, dna i have drawn long strands dna attached with its histone proteins are there like first cell wall has broken down we are uh, seeing the materials in this test tube all the macromolecules in this test tube okay now after all the macromolecules are released uh, the next step what is the next step we want only the dna 
for our further uh, experimental purpose or for research purpose because dna contains the gene of interest so even if you are doing for experimental purpose or for commercial scale you need the gene of interest so you need only the dna so contaminants here are the other macromolecules so protein rna and lipid that has also come out of the cell along with your dna these should be digested this should be broken down we don't want them if they are intact they will all interfere with our dna uh, isolation process and later fragmenting the uh, dna for desired gene it will interfere with all that so you have to digest it break it down into its monomers so if you have to so what all do you add now in the test tubes you will add pro, uh, to remove protein you treat it with enzyme protease protease will digest the long proteins into individual amino acids to remove rna you treat it with ribonuclease enzyme so each nucleotide of rna will break down so it will not it will all this will all be separated lipids can be treated with lipase um, if there are polysaccharides you can treat carbohydrates can be treated with amylase so all other macromolecules should be broken down only dna remains intact because you are not using enzyme digesting the dna now centrifuge Uh, this sample so that the digested macromolecules settle down as pellets and the supernatant that is the clear liquid up contains the dna strands so we will uh, pour it into an another test tube that supernatant part and do the further steps with it okay so that was the second step first step was cell lysis second step was removing the other molecules and the third step is dna purification so now how do we go about dna purification to get pure dna you add chilled ethanol ethanol you keep it chilled in the freezer and it remains in liquid form only dna being insoluble in ethanol will precipitate out as pellets it will form long thread like structures in the vial so you can see those collection of fine threads in the suspension i'll show you this in a short protocol not exactly how uh, you should be doing in a research lab or in an experimental uh, lab though for biology practical we follow that short protocol but i'll sh show you a very simple protocol uh, which would appear as a child's play okay and now the last step is spooling you use a glass rod and uh, into that uh, suspension the precipitate will stick to its tip but then it depends on what kind of material you have used some of the materials give long threads which can be easily spooled out some give very small precipitates so that may just stick and may not be very visible but you will get those precipitates which you can uh, the size dip size of the precipitate depends on the source from the dna obtained so we can get those precipitates resuspended in an alkaline buffer for the next technique by mixing it with our because now this suspension will contain only dna other things are all broken down all digested and eliminated so with restriction enzyme you will mix and then you will use it for gel electrophoresis so that when you mix it with restriction enzyme the fragments form the long strands of dna break in fragments at specific sites so how do you want uh, which particular fragment you want your uh, gene of interest that we can separate out through gel electrophoresis and that is the next technique here okay now students i'll tell you a show you a short protocol of how to get this process done what i explained now how to get the dna isolation but mind you only a short protocol not the exact protocol how we do in a research lab clear yeah? and when you do it in a short protocol in a research lab you need a sterile environment because you may be isolating dna for a research purpose so it should not be contaminated you cannot open it do it in an open environment here i am doing it at home lockdown period no so just to show you how to isolate dna and this is a child's play i tell you if you do it in the short protocol so uh, it's a child's play proof that i am making my Hi. child do the process Hi. okay so let's move on these are the materials kept here can you see all the materials this is mashed tomatoes ha huh. uh, this is detergent solution and detergents are uh, coming with stain cutters you may be knowing this because we have learned in biotechnology they have stain cutters to remove harsh strains they use um, enzymes protease to digest protein stains etc grease cutters or stain cutters that is how they are captured 
Okay, so we are using it in place of all those enzymes that we read now. So the detergents have all that to break down the cell wall and the membrane. Then we have salt here. Can you see the salt? Salt concentration, high salt concentration uh, will allow the proteins and all histone proteins along with DNA. No? So those proteins and all after being broken down, it will settle down. Clear? So we will use this. Now start. Uh, how do we start? This mashed potato. See, you can take anything. Tomatoes, instead of tomatoes, you can take uh, uh, anything like um, Onion, if you take onion, you need mortar and pestle to grind it, mash it well. Tomatoes are easily mashed, you can just press it with your hand also or grind it. So, I am using plant cells here. So, uh, we will mix the salt also into the solution. Pour the whole salt, so the solution is ready now. Okay. Now, uh, mix it well. Now, the mashed potato, ma sorry, mashed tomatoes you add. Yeah. Now uh, mix it well. You don't need this much quantity, but that a little is enough. Yeah. Now see, every house there is a strainer, right? Strain, chani, see, strain karne wala, not tension wala, strain, strain something. So this chani you can use. In another uh, beaker, you can uh, pour it. Pour very gently into the into another glass or vessel yeah that is enough hmm. now now pour this gently into a test tube you can directly do it in a glass if you have enough now, now, now this is ethyl alcohol in another tube uh, you can use uh, instead of ethyl alcohol you can use surgical spirit from the market or uh, girls you have nail polish remover that also contains ethyl alcohol yeah, now you will pour this, uh, this right, now pour this very gently from through the inner surface, enough, enough, enough to the uh, test tube. What happens? Ethanol is not soluble, uh, DNA is not soluble in ethanol. So can you see slightly viscous precipitate like matter moving? Can you see? So what happened is when you added ethanol, all the other uh, molecules like protein and all, it settled down with ethanol. But DNA is not soluble in ethanol. So it made a separate uh, layer in the inter surface of the test tube. Now, can you see those long, uh, can you see those long strands like, yeah, they are the DNA. When it left for some time, it will settle and you can spool it out with this rod. We used chilled ethanol to separate out the DNA molecule, DNA polymer from the other digested macromolecules. We want only the DNA in its pure form. So uh, you can see this DNA um, precipitates, it has come to the interface, you can see that whitish colored uh, stuff. So we want this separated out now. So what we do is we uh, load it in a microfuge vial and subjected to a process called centrifugation. So at high RPM, this DNA will precipitate down and stick to the bottom of the vial. All the other digested macromolecules like protein, RNA and all will remain in the upper part called supernatant. You discard the supernatant, we don't want that, so you discard it. And the bottom pellets, that is the DNA, we will save it and we will reload it in a loading buffer we will resuspend it in a loading buffer along with restriction enzyme so that fragments are formed from those fragments we can select our gene of interest by a process called gel electrophoresis clear i hope this technique is clear but then again this is not for the research uh, purpose the protocol is just for learning okay thank you so much for watching hope you understood the process properly and correctly any doubt you can please tell me write in the comment box and keep watching keep learning